Hey everybody, I'm Doug Vogel. Thanks for taking the time to watch this introductory video on Avalon. Avalon is the biggest architectural product release we've done in the last 30 years and we're excited to share it with you. I had a chance to use it on my house a few weeks ago and it covered fantastic and cut in uh, just really nice and I came away thinking our contractors are going to make a lot of money with this product and enjoy using it. There's a lot of information, a lot of features to share and Matt, Sandy and Perry have done a great job of putting that information together. Sit back and enjoy our, our lab and factory have just done a great job in putting a classic Diamond Vogel product together that delivers a lot of quality and value in the bucket. So enjoy. Hey Perry, why don't you tell us just a little bit about the backstory of Avalon? We've been working on this for some time now, haven't we? Matt, for the long time, we always ask the question, what's next after Permacryl? Now, Permacryl is still an excellent product for us to rely on, but until recently, we have uncovered some new resins and new performance criteria that are available to us at this point. And with that, I think we've created a wonderful product with a lot of the same characteristics you enjoy in Permacryl, but they have been substantially improved in a lot of areas. One of those areas, Matt, I think we can start out with is the durability portion of it. And uh, of course, stain resistance is always at the top of our list. And what we have decided and talked about as far as stain uh, control or stain removal goes, is we broke it down to four basic materials that we've really counted on. While we've included pencil and purple crayons and lipstick, oh, some black markers, mud solutions, we really started looking harder at the tough ones, Welch's grape juice and mustard and ketchup, coffee and tea. And that the coffee and tea are, of course, hot when they're applied. And what we have found is the product that we've developed stand up very, very well against those stains. And even letting them sit for five, 10 minutes are in most cases easily washed off. And we didn't only just take a look at these stains just in the vacuum of Avalon itself, but we went out and we compared it against a lot of competitive products. Let me think, uh, Sherwin-Williams Emerald was one, the Aura product from Benjamin Moore. There was a PPG product, and uh, we had maybe, what, eight, nine different competitive products that we put samples on and then compared them against how well Avalon was doing against it. Absolutely, Matt. We, we did a variety of those premium-type products, or the companies themselves have claimed them as being the premium products in their lines. We wanted to run it against something that uh, was very, very comparable to what we were coming out with it with Avalon. So we're going to be showing some video here of some of those tests. So, uh, why don't you describe a little bit about what we did and what kind of makes that test pretty tough. And when we then compare that, how that translates into real world life, what people can expect from it. What I believe the stain removal shows is how easy it is to remove very simply with a damp cloth and some water. It comes right off. We've said over and over again, uh, I, it's a line I've heard you repeat constantly, we want to make sure that the stain comes off in one or two wipes instead of having to scrub a thousand scrubs to get that stain to disappear. Uh, that's something we preach over and over again, and it's what any homeowner is going to expect from an ultra-premium paint. I would agree to wholeheartedly with that. And Again, when we start talking about some of those items and stains, the removal of that stain easily also cuts back the chances of having burnishing or marring or anything else going on with that film by limiting the amount of times that you're actually rubbing on it. So we've got excellent stain resistance. It's a given. We, When we compared it against those other ultra premium products from our competitors across the board, Avalon did better than everyone else. And that's including both the Benjamin Moore Aura product and the Sherwin-Williams Emerald product. So the other thing that comes up is scrub tests. And it's very difficult, in my opinion, for us to talk scrub test numbers and compare it to someone else's numbers that they are also reporting. There's a lot of variability in those tests. There's variability in the machines. So to me, that becomes difficult to compare numbers to numbers. So... We're not going to do that here today, but we are going to show you on the same machine 
a competitor's product on a card and Avalon on a card right next to it and how much better Avalon does on that exact same machine. And we did that with several competitive products and Avalon did amazingly well in all of those tests. I would agree, Matt. In most cases, the testing protocol really calls to scrub to failure. And what we were trying to show is our stays in place and does very, very well. When they started to fail because it's breaking the film and ours has not. So really speaks to the durability of uh, the coating. We also have great mar and burnish resistance with Avalon. They're not going to notice mars showing up because of, you know, little bumps and scrapes against the paint. Uh, we've developed that also, and that kind of ties into that same scrub test methods. And, and the lab really took a lot of care and effort to make sure that that product is going to perform in that way, too. I would agree with that wholeheartedly, Matt. All of those, those stains, the mar, that, that's all a testament to the durability of the product. Overall, durability-wise, we're playing with the big boys in a big way. Absolutely, Matt. One of the most, I would say, this is going to be one of the most, most historic introductions we've made in a long time. That's durability, and while that sounds really good, that's not even the fun part yet. Oh, <laughs> We've got some, actually, it gets better. The first thing we want to talk about is flow and leveling, and this product is remarkable when it comes to flow and leveling. Why don't you kick it off and tell us a little bit about what we were able to achieve with it? Well, with the flow and leveling portion of this, it, in most cases, products that have been applied by roller cover that are three A's, half and three quarter, is you will see a significant uh, amount of orange peel in that film. And it will remain there throughout the life of the product. What we've found is that by controlling several aspects of the rheology package, we could actually get a great flow and leveling product. I won't say quite as good as a Nucling or a SureFlow, but it is going to rival those two products uh, as far as flow and leveling. And with that, when you got have good flow and leveling, one of the attributes to that is great touch-ups, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But that's really the meat and potatoes of that one is the flow and leveling gives you a beautiful finish, even gloss. We've had several opportunities to use it on in contractors' hands, and all of them said unbelievable. The ease of which it was applied, the coverage that it had, and the sheen and everything just went on so easily. And when we talk about that attribute specifically, Matt, I don't think any of the other products that we tested had the ability to flow and level like the Avalon product did. From all of my recollection of app applying and doing testing and, and the flow and leveling testing, Avalon really was above all the rest in every attribute when it comes to flow and leveling. Now, that flow and leveling also kind of plays into the next part that we're going to talk about, which is hide. And the reason for that is if you're applying it by a brush, you're going to end up with some peaks and valleys as the brush lays down the coating. And if those peaks and valleys kind of stay, you end up with, in the valleys, you've got very, very small amount of film build, which doesn't allow you to achieve full opacity. But if that product levels out and smooths out, you're going to end up with your true film thickness across that entire surface, which, of course, then is going to lead to better hiding. So the flow and leveling is actually going to help the hide, but then there's even more to the hide part, too. I will say today that with this increase of this product's abilities, the hide is going to be naturally increased just from the flow and leveling standpoint in the white base, the mid-tone, the deep, and the neutral. We had a bunch of supervisors in last fall, had them try Avalon, and we had this uh, little special sticker. Perry, uh, you want to talk about the sticker? Sure, Matt. The black and white sticker is a very easy test, check opacity and where you gain that and with how many mils. And that's a typical thing that we use to test a lot of our paint products against our competitors. And how you apply it with what you apply it with and so on can impact that. Matt, it just is a down and dirty test to just make sure we have proper hide with the application characteristics of the product we're looking for.